Hi, welcome back to the Grape Explorer. It's quiz time and I'm testing you on your wine vocabulary. How well do you know your wine words, your definitions of certain words in the world of wine? 10 questions to test your knowledge as always. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is the Grape Explorer. We do wine education, product reviews, lots of wine tasting and always lots of wine quizzes. So if that's your thing, please consider subscribing. Let's jump straight into question one then. I know you're all itching to get started, so here we go. Question one, the harmless crystalline deposits that separate from wines during fermentation and aging are known as what? Is it A, ethyl acetates? Is it B, lees? Is it C, Britonomyces? Or is it D, tartrates? So like I say, this quiz is all about the words, the definitions, the technical terms that we use in winemaking. So for those of you who started out with answer D, tartrates, you're off to a good start. Now we're just going to run through these ones today. I wouldn't want to give anything away about what these wine words mean. So question number two, what is a goblet? Is it A, a special wine cup used in Beaujolais? Is it B, a form of vine training? Is it C, a French style of bottle? Or is it D, a microscopic bacteria? So this is how technical this particular quiz is. Um, what's interesting about this particular question is the region where this is popularly used uh, is actually as part of one of the answers, but that doesn't mean that it is a special cup from Beaujolais, but it is used in Beaujolais where the vines are trained and tied together to form what they call a goblet. So if you've gone for answer B, you're correct. It's a form of vine training. Question three is an incredibly scientific and technical question. Some winemakers use a tool in the vineyard to measure the ripeness of grapes by measuring must weight. What is this tool called? Is it A, a reflectometer? Is it B, a must meter? Is it C, a refractometer? Or is it D, a ripometer? Uh, I have the patent out on a ripometer, so no one steal that name. That is, of course, a wrong answer. The correct answer here is actually C, it's a refractometer. So question four, staying on the theme of very technical scientific words, uh, what is ampelography? Is it A, the study of soil composition and the indexing of said components? Is it B, the science of description and identification of the vine genus Vitus and its cultivated vine varieties? Is it C, a combination of air and land measurements to help the winemakers utilize the best parcels of a single vineyard? Or is it D, a study of microscopic threats to flora and fauna? That has been quite a tongue twister for me. Um, this is what I mean by in really knowing, needing to know your wine words, your wine glossary. And for me, this has been an absolute exercise in learning. Um, I'd never heard of this until I started writing this quiz. Uh, the correct answer on this one is B. It's the science of description identification of the vine genus Vitis uh, and its various varieties. And I hope some of you got that one right. Question five is um, all about activities in the vineyard. So the viticultural operation of grafting vines indoors rather than in a field is known as what? Is it A, bench grafting? Is it B, internal grafting? Is it C, bench rooting? Or is it D, inner rooting? So why might we do this particular process indoors? Well, when I say indoors, typically it's done in things like greenhouses where you're still able to get a slightly increased temperature because this exercise is normally taking place between the winter and spring. The correct answer here is A, it's bench grafting. If you didn't get that one right, I hope you learned something new today. Question six continues with words that I'm going to struggle to say. Uh, what is drosophila? Is it A, a fungal disease affecting the leaves? B, a Spanish method of fermentation. C, an additive used in the production of sparkling wine. Or D, an insect pest of grapevines such as a fruit fly. Again, pretty technical. Uh, you either know it if you know it. Uh, they're only ever easy if you know them, of course. I say that all the time. Uh, the correct answer here on this one is actually D. It's an insect pest like a fruit fly. Okay, question seven. Perhaps one of the easier ones today, who can say? Which of the following is the largest bottle size for champagne? Is it A, a Balthazar? Is it B, a Magnum? Is it C, a Jeroboam? Or is it D, a Methuselah? 
There are, of course, a number of different bottle sizes. Uh, I've only listed four here, of course. Um, many will, of you will know that Magnum is double the size of a regular bottle, so you can probably discount that one. The actual correct answer here is A, and I've put the number of bottles that it's equivalent to. Balthazar is equivalent to 16 regular bottles, making it the largest bottle size for champagne. Okay, question number eight. Uh, all of you WSCT level three students should be getting this one right off the bat. Uh, what is chattelization? Is it A, the process of removing colour from wines? Is it B, the process of increasing the alcoholic strength of wine with the addition of sugar? Is it C, the process of planting vines at altitudes of 3,000 metres or more? Or is it D, a red wine process to reduce tannin? All of those sound plausible, don't they? And there's probably words for all of those as well. Um, this is all about adding sugar to wine to increase the alcohol strength, give those yeast cells something more to eat on. Uh, and convert more of that sugar to alcohol. So the answer here is B. Question nine is a problem for winemakers. Alcoholic fermentation, which ceases before completion, is an issue for winemakers known as what? Is it A, stopped fermentation? Is it B, stuck fermentation? Is it C, ceased fermentation? Or is it D, closed fermentation? I tried my best to get the thesaurus out for that one to come up with some very similar types of words. The actual answer here, and it really is a problem for winemakers of course, is stuck fermentation. That's answer B. Finally, question 10, we're going to end on another one of these scientific type words. What is thermovinification? Is it A, it's the use of a hot water tank that bottled wines are submerged in for aging purposes? Is it B, planting at altitude and letting the warm breezes develop the fruit? Is it C, a process sometimes used in red wine making after cool growing seasons where heat is applied to the grapes before fermentation? Or is it D, the name given to an insulated jacket used on barrels during maturation? I'm thinking of getting a job as a, as a, as a professional quiz master after this. I'm, I'm really proud of my wrong answers today. Uh, the correct answer here is C. It's actually a process where there's been a cool growing season and perhaps those black grape berries haven't done exactly what the winemaker wants so they, they use a little bit of heat uh, on those berries before fermentation. How did you get on? This is definitely one of the tougher quizzes that I've done yet. Has it improved your wine glossary, uh, your wine words, your wine definitions? I hope it has. Let me know in the comments section below what your scores were. And as always, please be suggesting other topics you'd like to see on the quizzes. For now, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. I'm the Grape Explorer. I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.